Hey, what's up, guys? Today, we're going to talk about file transfer. I'm going to cover TFTP and FTP, and I'm going to use some of the switches here to show you how you can transfer files like firmwares or configurations to another system. So TFTP and FTP are two of the protocols that we have to cover for the CCNA exam. And this is one of the lessons that I'm creating on kbtrains.com for the course on the CCNA 20301. So if you want to study for the CCNA and get it, the course is available on kbtrains.com, the website. It goes from zero to engineer and we teach you everything you have to know. If we go in the exam blueprint, you can see that under 4.9, Cisco is asking us to describe the capabilities and function of TFTP and FTP inside a network. That's what we're going to do today. So in today's lesson, we are going to cover the following points. First of all, I'm going to give you a brief introduction to the concept of file transfer. And then we are going to cover TFTP, FTP, and I will show the differences between TFTP and FTP. And then we're going to use um, TFTP or FTP to I mean, to, to back up our configurations from the switches that I thought about here. So I have some switches. I'm going to show you how I can move my configurations from the switch to another device easily using one of these protocols here. So to start, file transfer refers to the fact of exchanging a file between two systems, two or multiple systems. For example, we have a computer here, which is like in my case, I have a Windows, uh, Windows computer and I can run a TFTP server on this computer and I can have a switch or a firewall or a router that is connected to my computer. So we need, first of all, to have IP connectivity between my server and my device. So if I have that connection, I can copy any type of files. And I'm going to show you uh, by the end of this lesson. I can copy any file from my Windows computer going to the router or the switch. Or I can copy a file from the switch. So we are going to use some protocols like FTP. TFTP, like we're going to see today, these two, or we can also use SMB or HTTPS. These are main protocols that are used to transfer files between two systems. I'm not talking about network devices only. I'm, not, I'm talking about any kind of transfer over the internet and everywhere or inside a, a local area network. You can use these protocols to move your files around. What kind of files we can move or we can transfer for um, network devices? We can transfer firmwares. For example, you have a firmware running on your switch and you need to upgrade that firmware. If you cannot do it directly from the internet, you need to copy the new firmware from wherever you have it to the switch. So you can use TFTP or FTP for that. You can copy configurations. Like if you want to make sure you have a backup of your configurations you have on your device, you can copy the config on a different device to save it there. You can copy all kinds of databases and so on. So you have many types of files that you can copy from a network device. So that's why Cisco wants you to know as a network engineer the use of FTP and TFTP. So we're going to start with TFTP. TFTP is a very simple file transfer protocol. It's very light and it doesn't have all the functions that FTP has. So FTP has a lot of functions built in where you can list the files that are on the on the server you can rename those files you can delete them and so on but tftp is just for unidirectional transfer of files and that's why it's very simple it's very light it's used all the time by network engineers it doesn't support authentication so you don't need to to identify yourself you don't need the username or password to be able to initiate a transfer of data and everything is sent in the clear text which can be a security issue if you are going outside of your network or even inside your network, you need to know that when you're transferring using TFTP, anybody who has access to your data can see what's happening. And we are using UDP port 69. As you know, UDP is very light, so it's, it's not reliable, of course, but it's very light in the way it sends the packets. You don't have a lot of overhead on the packets, so it's very quick to use. That's why a lot of people use TFTP for some simple transfers. And then we're going to talk about FTP. It comes with a lot of functions. For example, um, if we have a client here, which can be a switch or whatever, we can connect to a server, to an FTP server, 
and we can do all kinds of things. We have actually two sessions that need to be created. We have the first session that is created on the port number 20, and we're talking about TCP here. So with the port number 20, we are only sending command. We are sending control information. So all the control information are sent on the port 20, and the data transfer itself happens on the port 21. So we need to have two sessions open between the client and the server. So from the client, if I want to see what are the files I have on the server side, I can list the files, I can rename the files, I can delete the files, so I can do many things from the FTP client. With TFTP, you cannot do that. You can only copy files, but FTP is much stronger, and that's why we need more security, and FTP requires authentication if you want to do any kind of transfer. Control information um, carries commands and responses. So when you are sending the command to your, your, TF, or your FTP server, show me the files that you have. The FTP will show you the files using that same pipe with the port 20, will show you the list of files that it has in the system, and you can send all kinds of commands. When you want to transfer the file themselves, you need to use, I mean, it's using the, the port number 21 to do the transfer. Before we go to the devices to practice some file transfer, I'm going to give you the differences between FTP and TFTP. Uh, first of all, FTP uses the port uh, 20 and 21, and the TFTP uses UDP port 69. So FTP uses uh, TCP. So FTP is a complete session-oriented and a general purpose file transfer protocol, while TFTP is very specific. It is used only for small transfers uh, between um, two systems. FTP can be used interactively, while TFTP only allows unidirectional transfer of files. Um, FTP depends on TCP, which is reliable, so you have confirmation every time you send a packet and you make sure your packet arrives, which can be heavy in terms of overhead, but TFTP uses UDP, which is very, very quick, very light, and you don't have a lot of overhead. FTP provides user authentication and TFTP does not. So these are a few differences between FTP and TFTP. So now I'm going to show you how you can use FTP or TFTP to back up your configuration. And the only difference you need to notice is that for FTP, we need a user. That's why on your Cisco device, you need to make sure you have a user by doing IP TFTP user here I created a user called Cisco and the password, you do that in a config mode on your switch or your router, for example. Other than that, everything else remains the same for TFTP or FTP. Just like you're going to see, I'm going to use this command, for example, to copy my running configuration from my device to a TFTP device that is located at 192.168.1.100. And after that, you're going to see that the file is copied and everything went smoothly. So let's go in the lab. I'm going to show you what I have. Uh, first of all, I have a switch. This is my switch. I can go in the config mode, I mean, enable mode. Okay. Here I can do show IP interface brief. You notice that I have an IP address, 192.168.1.97. And this is in the same network with my computer. If I do IP config, I have two networks here, the 10.35, and then I have 192.168.1.100. This is where my TFTP server is going to be. So I can go in the switch and try to ping my computer. So I can do ping 192.168.1.100. I can ping it. As I said, we have IP connectivity between my switch and my server. Okay, first of all, let's make sure we have a TFTP server running on our Windows device. You can download this very light server here online. It's called TFTPD. So you go on Google and you just type download um, TFTP D64, it's right here. So you can get it from anywhere, even here, I think. Yes, you can download it from here. I haven't tried a solution for Mac, but th there should be uh, some solution. So when you get that installed, it should look like this. Let me open mine that I have here, TFTPD64, and I'm going to open it as an admin. So once it opens up, it looks like this. 
And this is the folder where our files are going to be saved. And right now I have the TFTP server enabled and I can run it on any of these IP addresses, including 192.168.1.100. If I open that uh, directory or the folder, you can see these few devices, I mean, these few files that are here. And if you are not familiar with the file system on the Cisco device, you can do something like show flash, which will show you the content of your flash. Uh, I think you can do the flash too. Yeah, it's going to show you the content of your your flash memory. And here we have many kind of things. This is one of the examples that I did earlier with this PDF device, I mean PDF file, but it was copied from my server. So I can copy anything from here to my folder that I have. So let me show the folder again, show folder and then Explorer. This is the actual folder on my computer. So for example, let me show you how to config, uh, how to, to back up your configuration. You know that everything that I'm running right now is in the running config, which is different from the startup config. If I do show run, I'm going to see my configuration currently. So I can do copy running config to TFTP. When I do enter, it's asking me for the IP of the TFTP. It's 192.168.1.100, which is my Windows computer. And then it's going to ask me for the name of the file. I can just leave it to the default name, switch to config. And then let's keep an eye on our server here and see what we have. As soon as I click or I hit enter, look at here, you have, we have a message saying that there is a copy happening and it's 100% done. And here we have a confirmation saying that we have a file that was copied from our device to the server. And if we go in the folder, the TFTP folder, here's the device, I mean, the, the file from our system or our switch. And this is the, this is the backup of our configuration. If you want to make some changes, for example, and before making the changes, you want to back up your config, you can do like this and then make your changes. If you ever mess up or if you want to restore your configuration, you can just come here, copy this file back and reload it on your computer. And you can do many kind of things. Like, for example, I have this tftpd64 executable file. I can copy this file on my switch here. Uh, for that, I'll have to do copy, and then I will do tftp. I'll give it the IP.60.1.100. And then the file itself is tftp pd64 that's exe and then i'm going to copy into my flash memory when i hit enter it's asking me what is the name of the new file in my system i will just leave it at the default let's go back to here so we can keep an eye on it so when i go back and click enter we have some things happening here this looks like an error but i think it's going to copy at the end so uh, let's wait and see what happens. So right now it's accessing it. It's loading it. And you can see the transfer is happening. And okay, the transfer is done. And if I do, if I come back in the switch and do show flash, you can see that the tftpd64.exe is available in my flash memory of the switch this is how you can transfer any kind of files thank you guys for watching if you like the video like it on youtube and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any of my future videos and if you want the whole course on the ccna it's on my website kbtrains.com go there and check it out they go from zero to engineer and can help you start or boost your career also make sure you follow me on facebook instagram and twitter take care and i'll see you in the next one bye